In this video, we will create this product list using GitX and on click of any product, the product detail will be shown and I will explain you the basic concepts of GitX by creating controllers, views, models, routes and reactive variables. You will have a basic understanding of GitX and how we can route from one page to another. And in the next chapter, we will explore the state management using GitX that we will update our data live in our Flutter application. So be sure to watch this video till the end and you will have the basic understanding of GitX controllers controllers, routes and creating all these files and folders and if you have any problem in this video or any other problem in Flutter just comment down and I will make a separate video on that and if you're new here be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and now let's get started and explore GitX and see how we can create this example. So to get started first I'm gonna add the GitX package in PubSpeak YAML. I will copy the latest version from here and go back to the PubSpeak YAML and paste it after the Cupertino icons and save it. Next, before we start any project in Flutter, we have to create our folder structure and then start writing our code. That way it will be easier for us to modify or update the code later on. So I'm gonna create the folder structure and I will explain you why I did that. You can see here we have our app folder and inside app folder we have our modules which separates every module in our application. In this chapter we are working with product modules so we have a folder for product and inside every module we have controllers models and views which will contain the files separately for this module and then outside the modules we have routes folder which will contain a file that will contain all the routes in our application and we can easily modify it from here so let's get start with our product module and inside here first I'm gonna create a model for our product in the product model for now I'm gonna create a simple variable for name and price and then later on we can add more features as we go. So we have name and price and it will be accepted as a parameter to the product model. Next I'm gonna create a controller for our product module. So I've created a product controller and it extends GitX controller. This is our first usage of GitX and we have to extend it from GitX controller to be able to access it in other pages and also fetch and update our variables and data. Next I'm gonna create an object of our model class in the controller. I've created a list of objects which is of type product model which is our model class and this dot obs makes it observable which will update the ui whenever this data is changed from controller now let's add some data to this list gitx controller also have an on init method like our stateful widget in our normal flutter application so now right here i'm gonna add some data to this products list i've added three products with different prices now let's create a view page for our product module so whenever we use gitx we don't need to use a state full because using our gitx controller we can update this state and refresh the ui anytime we want so before i create a list view for our product list first i have to create an instance of our gitx controller in the product view page and to create an instance we can simply type in the name of the controller class as we have here and the instance name equals to git.put it means when we call this line of code it will initialize the controller and now we have three products inside our product list and now we are ready to type in our scaffold code and create a list view in the body of a scaffold notice that i'm using obx obx indicates that we are using gitx controller and this part of the code will be refreshed or updated in the future if this code is not going to update in the future you can simply remove this obx but since this is a list view and the items or data will be populated later on from controller we have to wrap list view builder with this obx so it's a simple inside the list view i created a temporary object called product and the data inside it will come from the products list that we have inside our controller in this case every single product will be initialized to this product using the index that we have here and then this product detail will be shown using this list style so this is our list style detail in the title we get the product.name in the subtitle we have product.price and on tap we say get.toName slash product detail and then as an argument we pass the product right now I don't have this route and this product detail page I'm gonna create it next but you have to understand that instead of writing all this long code to navigate 
navigate from one page to another using getx you can simply type in get dot to name and provide the route or path name and then you will be redirected to that page we can also write down like this simply get dot to and then our view name but this one has a disadvantage like if your application gets really big then you want to change the on tap of the method or on tap of a button then you have to come and find that button and then change it but if you're using this routing method it makes it simple because this route will be defined in the routes folder that we will create the path right now and whenever you want to change the on tap of this button you can simply go and change it in the routes file and it will be changed wherever you call this route so this way is always recommended for bigger applications but if your application is small you can use this method also now let's create a detail view for our product so in the detail view you can see we have the product model and then get dot arguments it will take the value that we have passed here as argument we don't need to pass it as a parameter here that is the old way using getx we can simply pass it through arguments and then catch it here in our detail view and then we have our app bar and in the center we have our column and text with the product name and then we have the product price now we have our product detail we have our product view let's create a route and then we modify our main page and then our application is ready so in the routes folder usually we create two files one is application route the other is page route so in the application route we create a simple routes class and inside the class we have static constant variables with the paths for our modules in this case we have product module which is this one a second one is product dash details we have not created that yet this is just for understanding that we type in the path for our routes here and inside our page route we created a simple class called app pages and in there we have a static list and then every item of the list will return a getx page so inside every page we pass in the name and the page that it's gonna return so in this case you can see routes.product is directly accessible from this file because we have used part of app underscore page here also we used part of app underscore route and that's why it can access the product and product detail from that app underscore route so the main concept of this file is to attach a page to a route path so in this case product view will be attached to the slash product and the product detail will be attached to this product dash details an example of this is we have called product dash details and this will call the product detail view that we have here so i hope you understand that now the final step is to clear up our main method i'm gonna delete everything notice that here also i'm not using stateful and i'm using stateless because we are gonna use getx and here instead of typing in material i'm gonna use get material app because we are using getx and we have to do it whenever we want to use getx features like getx controller getx route observable variables and so on first i'm gonna provide a title which will be product next i'm gonna provide the get pages which will accept a list of pages and i can simply pass the app pages or routes which i have created there in the routes and it will return these two pages for our getx and finally we have to give the initial route which will be the first route whenever we run our application in this case the product view will be our initial route and just to make our application look good we just remove the banner so now our application is ready now let's open the emulator and run our application and see how it looks so you can see our getx application is running and we have our product list we have list of three products that we have added and on top of this product it should go to detail page and in product detail we have product name and product price in the center and we can come back by pressing the button so that's it for chapter one and in the chapter 2 we will improve this example and i will also explain you the concept of getx state management that we will be able to update data live in our screen and it will be reflected here using getx and if you have any question or suggestion just comment down and i will try to respond as soon as possible and with that being said thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video